Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're taking a look at the Bober backpack from Russian Cold Camo. The Bober backpack. This is a 25 liter Russian military assault backpack. If you've been watching the channel for the last couple of months, you'll see me with my raid backpack, which is a 60 to 80 liter mountaineering style backpack. And the carrying system on it, it's really phenomenal. You can really load those packs up and carry a lot of weight comfortably. And when I was looking into this pack, I found out that it was based on the raid backpack, at least as far as the carrying system goes, the shoulder harness, the hip belt. Let me find a spot. We'll pop it off and take a look at the pack, kind of go through the loadout and give you guys an idea what it's all about. Welcome to Endurance Room. The Bober backpack, 25 liter assault backpack from the Russian military. It's got one main compartment that's about 20 liters. And then there's two external compartments, one right here and then one on the outside. And this is the pocket that gives the pack its name. Bober translates to beaver in Russian. And when you unclip this pack, It flops down and looks a bit like a beaver tail. This is a great place to stash a field jacket, a poncho, shelter, and it lets you get a good bit more volume out of the pack than just 25 liters. So it's a really interesting feature. On the bottom of the pack, I've got a single plush palaka. There are two rows of webbing on the bottom of the pack. I used two loops of paracord with some Canadian jam knots to secure my palaka. But this is a great place for your poncho, bedroll, shelter halves, you name it. We've also got webbing on the beaver tail pocket. So you could attach a canteen, first aid pouch, an admin pouch, whatever you need a quick ready access to. On both bottom corners, both the right side and the left side, you've got small external pockets that will give you a great place to stash the handle of your hatchet, your long knives. There's also thick webbing that runs along the perimeter up to the top, forming a nice carry handle. Right underneath it, we've got a port for a water bladder. And then our shoulder straps, they're S-shaped, really nice thick padding. It's very, very comfortable. You can see the webbing, how porous it is. This helps in ventilation. You've got nice thick padding on your back as well as the kidney belt. This is removable if you didn't want to use it for whatever reason. When I first got the pack, it felt like it was sized for somebody who was about five foot 10 and I'm six foot two, I'm a little bit taller. So I had to make a slight adjustment by moving the sternum strap from up here to right here. Now it fits perfect. Let's check out the rest of the pack. Starting with our beaver tail. To access it, you've got nice heavy duty double-ended zippers. The whole pack utilizes them. On the inside, I've got my radio, a paracord ridge line for building shelters, some tent stakes for the same, and a folding saw. In our second pocket, this is pretty good size. And in it, I've got my East German grenade pouch. This has got my headlamp some surefire, my compass and navigation stuff, my ferro rod, an extra lighter, a pair of work gloves. This is a small repair kit with needle, thread, and a speedy stitch for doing heavier repairs. Put a bag of cordage. And then last but not least, this is an extra fire kit for letting me practice any primitive fire stuff. I've got an extra lighter in here as well. Uh, magnifying glass for doing solar fires, steel striker I made out of a file, piece of chert. There's also two small organizer pockets right here to help you retain your smaller items. On to the main compartment. Once again, it's accessed with double-ended zippers. 
insulated sleeping pad. This is my food kit with my canteen cup, my water bottle, you know, any food, spices, anything I'm taking with me. I keep it inside this dry bag and I've got an extra hank of paracord on the inside so I can run it up a tree as a bear bag at the end of the night. Some extra clothing. This has got extra socks, a wool hat, a pair of shorts. This is my Ratnik shelter. Got a Miltec poncho. A small pillow and inside the dry bag I've got my green USGI field bag it's a summer weight bag and last but not least I've got a little bug net on the inside of the pack at the top you can see the port for the hydration bladder there's also two small pockets that are closed with velcro pretty solid loadout for such a small bag only 25 liters and right here, I've got everything I need for a good solid day in the field, if not a couple of days. So just moving up and down the hills here through the brush, the pack carries extremely well. It sits nice and close to the body. There's good ventilation. There's good padding on the straps and on the hip belt. So I'm really happy with how it's been performing. It's very reminiscent of the Raid pack and I've put a lot of miles in with that bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions for me about the pack, just let me know down below. I have a link in the description in the comments so you can go check this out at Russian Cold Camo. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you're all good. Cheers, everybody.